Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, um, I've done a couple of videos on cancel culture recently, and I just put one on uh, a Facebook group the other day, and then I put up a post basically saying, so who do you think will be cancelled this week, as a joke? And it's Tuesday, and we've already had one victim. Um, Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. Now, um, <laughs> he has been deleted from um, Space Jam 2, and it's really, really ridiculous. Um, now, first off, we have to look at the original character. That Now, he would often um, sexually, har sexually harass female characters and not take no for an answer. Now, my understanding was he never won. They always resisted him wanting to get away from him because he was hideous, and the joke... The, the joke was never on the victims, the joke was always on him being, um, I don't know what to call him, being um, an idiot, basically. Um, and you're always laughing at him and his ridiculousness and the fact that he was so unattractive to women because of how he would act. He was an example of how not to act. No one saw Pepe Le Pew and thought, that's how you win a woman. No one watched Pepe Le Pew and thought, that's how you act, that's what you should do. That, that anyone who thinks like that is obviously mentally incapacitated on some level. There's something wrong with you if you think that Pepe Le Pew was teaching boys all around the world um, what, how, how to act. And the idea that he, um, what was the term? I want to get this correct. He, um, oh, where's this guy's post? got like five posts from this guy. Ah, oh, screw it, I can't quote him. Oh, just that he added to rape culture. He, he, he added to rape culture. I've heard it um, repeated differently that actually sounded more articulate than that. Um, I wanted to get it right because it sounded more articulate, but he just said added to rape culture. So supposedly Pepe Le Pew added to rape culture because he apparently promoted it and basically taught children that no is the start of a conversation, is, is the start of um, an initiation of sex. And it's not, no means no. And I don't believe that at all. I mean, I'm going from memory of what I remember from watching Pepe Le Pew as a kid, um, that he was too much. Um, I don't think he had ever any bad intentions, but he was so, um, I don't know what you call him now. I guess he was such a narcissist and he wanted his gratification so much. And it was all about him. And, it, yeah. So, he didn't care. It's like, it was just about him and you could see that it was about him and that's what made him a joke and not someone you would emulate so but you never hated him he, he wasn't a bad person but he just um was just i don't know what to call him not tedious just not embarrassing just um i don't want to call him a jerk either um but yeah he just was just awful he had no way it was like the joke of this French lover, sort of this, this romantic person, that's what he thinks, had no idea how to deal with women and just made them uncomfortable, made them want to get away from him. That was the joke. Um, and, I mean, like, uh, it's, it is weird, though. Like, I have a pair of Pepe Le Pew um, red satin boxer shorts, which I have, and a lot of people, they use this image in relation to romance on some level. So it is weird that he's seen as this romantic character because he's always chasing women because he wants to be with them, but how he actually deals with them and then the fact he never gets them isn't sort of focused on. So it's, it is sort of weird. There are those weird things like that. But um, I'm not cancelling my Pepe Le Pew boxer shorts. They look good on me, so I'm keeping them. But um, the worst part of this, and this is this is where the, the, the bad side of... Um, cancel culture is obvious because I, I sort of have said yes I agree with it in some places and no I don't agree with it in some places I think I've sort of supported um, I supported some people being cancelled and other people not um, and you kind of can't have it that way you have to pick a side I've picked the cancel culture is bad side basically because it erases history and you can't learn from history if it's, if it's erased it takes away teachable moments because obviously there's no history to show this is what you don't do, this is what you shouldn't do, this is what that looks like. Don't do that. Don't be that. You can't do that if it's gone, if it's erased. So that doesn't really work. And this is a horrible, really sad example. The actress who 
because there was a scene that's been deleted where Pepe Le Pew is a bartender and the, the actress, um, she's from, um, oh god, what the show was she in? I have not watched it. Um, I have a friend who used to watch it all the time, used to talk about it all the time, and now I can't find the name. Uh, was it Jane the Virgin? Oh, either way, she's in a TV show. Um, her name is Gracie Santo, and she's actually a victim of sexual assault. Um, she's a survivor, and she wanted this role. She wanted this part, because in this part, basically, she goes into a bar, Pepe Le Pew hits on her, she smacks the crap out of him and pours a drink over his head, and then LeBron James walks in and tells him, you can't treat a woman like that. So Pepe Le Pew gets educated. <laughs> he gets slapped down and put in his place. That's good. That's a teachable moment. As long as it's funny as well as being a teachable moment and an example of, no, we, this is not what we do. They remove that because of stupidity. Because And this woman who actually found some empowerment in being this character and doing this to this this example on some level of what not to be and, and who not to be, because I think the, the cats he was always trying to seduce, because he's a skunk and he's always chasing after cats who just happen to somehow get a stripe down their back, um, maybe that's part of the reason why they weren't attracted to him in the first place. Um, but I, I'd have to go back and watch these and actually do a serious anal, an, analytical sort of look at them. Um, I haven't seen the cartoons in years. but. Um, they would always resist, and they'd always fight back, and they'd always get away from him. And she was, she sort of the same thing. She was like, she put him in his place. That's a good thing. That's that's a good thing to see. But they cut that out, so they take away any positiveness. And this is what someone um, wrote. Um, now the scene is cut, and she doesn't have that power to influence the world through younger generations who will be watching Space Jam 2 to let younger girls and boys, younger boys, know that Pepe Le Pew's behaviour is unacceptable. And this actually meant something to her. Even though Pepe is a cartoon character, if anyone was going to slap a sexual harasser like him, Gracie wished it would be her, the spokesperson said, and now she doesn't get that opportunity. So you've taken empowerment away from a sexual assault victim to cancel someone because they are like a parody or, or a joke on someone who would do that. And the joke is on him, not on the victim, not on the other person. So it's just madness. It's gotten to madness at this point. They're actually doing harm. They make themselves look bad. They're taking away educational, teachable moments, educational experiences, being able to reflect on history because you're taking it away. It's just, it's madness. Like It's like we're gone with the wind. It's like all these other things. If you take them away, you can't learn anything from them. And also you have to look at the context of what things were at the time, how they're perceived now, and how different people perceive them. So it's just ridiculous. I just, I'm, I'm just like, each one, like the Muppets, the Muppets being censored. Now I found out um, they only, apparently they only have the, um, the disclaimers on some episodes, not every episode, not the series as a whole. But and it's, it's, it seems to be contradictory. Some people are saying, the series you can't add to your kids' accounts. Um, other people saying it's just those episodes, the ones that have the disclaimers. Other people saying it's the whole series. I've sort of heard both versions. I'm actually not sure which is now I actually think about it. But um, apparently there's some scenes missing, but they are newly contractual things. There were scenes added to the UK episodes um, to fill them out because they had less ads and less ad time than America, so they had more time for the actual show, so they'd film, film like an extra scene, extra segment for um, each episode, and those weren't taken out for um, censorship reasons, but just because um, copyright or just for different reasons. But what happened to the Muppets was wrong. What happened to Mr. Potato Head? Although I have heard now that they changed the brand name to just Potato Head, not Mr. Potato Head, but you can still buy Mr. Potato Head and Mrs. Potato Head and I guess the gender neutral Potato Head. So that's not as bad, but they put out this big, big press release. Oh, we're getting rid of Mr. Potato Head because we're woke. And they actually weren't doing that, so a lot of people got upset about nothing, but they created that problem. Then they had to come out and say, well, actually, no, we're not getting rid of him. We're just changing our like our logo, brand logo sort of thing, because um, we want to seem more inclusive, to not be Mr. Potato Head, just Potato Head. I'm like, well, that's not that bad, and that's not cancelling or removing a character. So the way people manage the, the cancel culture and trying to court cancel cu culture is as problematic as actually cancel culture itself and the problems that they're supposedly trying to resolve. And a lot of this is 
Some people generally want to change things and make things better. Some people are misguided. Some people literally, they just get off on the power of it. And everyone focuses on whatever suits them. The, the right-wing people focus on the power-hungry people. The left-wing focus on people who just want to save the world. Um, it's just more complicated than that. And I just, I don't want Pepe Le Pew cancelled. I'm happy for him to be slapped around for being an a-hole. But I don't want him gone. I love Pepe Le Pew. Um, he really just, I don't know, I don't think he's bad. He just gave us a bad example of how to act. And that was a good thing. Because it shows, the best way to see what an a-hole you are when you're doing something is to see someone else do it. Ugh, eesh, oh, basic stupid people or people just wanting to cancel something because it makes them feel important. That's what most of this comes down to. Most, unfortunately, cancel culture comes down to that now. Not actual causes that actually are being passionately pursued by people to resolve issues. Now we've got to sort of rummage through and work out what the real real issues are and the real people and the real causes are because we have so much of this like cancel culture versus actual activism and trying to change things they're different they're two different things one is bad one is necessary for society and growth and culture so <sighs> r.i.p happy le pew i guess um yeah i'm gonna go feel free to share like comment subscribe i'm gonna sleep in my Pepe le pew um boxer shorts tonight just to 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 um give him like a a, 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 a going away like okay a, a little RFP he's gone like a little it's sad um because it's stupid <laughs> he could have taught a whole another generation of kids how not to act and not to be an a-hole and now he's just disappeared it's just stupid can't say can't stop can't say it enough but I'm gonna stop